Hello, and today I'm going to teach you uh, the best way to use a software called Handbrake um, down here um, to capture certain chapters or to capture a video, rip it to your hard drive so you can put it into ProPresenter if you don't want to use the uh, built-in one in ProPresenter 5 or you're not on ProPresenter 5. Now, due to uh, DVD um, restrictions, you will not be able to see the uh, menus and so on. But what you do is you put your DVD in your in your uh, DVD drive, and DVD player will boot up. You will then um, what you need to do is find out these two parts of a DVD. There's a title and there's chapters. If you are going to do the whole video you will look for the the uh, the title and you're going to just put that in um, so what you do is you would when you get up to the menu where it shows you um, you know the play the movie or go to the chapters you hit the play the movie and then you um, uh, will then go up to let me pull this up you will go up to go and then from go you choose title and you can see on this particular video that the whole movie is on title 20 so if you're not good at remembering numbers you write that down um, then if you only want to do certain scenes like you just want to pull out a clip for uh, a sermon illustration or so on then you would go and uh, navigate to that uh, to the scenes that you want to, to use in the video and you would go then up to go look at the title okay it's title 20 and then if you go to the go up here and you go down to chapters you will see that this scene that I want to bring in is chapter 4 so that's just to know exactly where it is because some DVD authoring kind of throws things around a little bit so this way you're sure you're pulling in the scenes that you want to do so title is where the movie is and under each title are chapters these are you know your scene selections in your DVD menu so once you've got all that then you can come up to uh, Handbrake and start up Handbrake and um, of course you can navigate straight to your DVD which is you know on your drive um, another option for that if you because we already know what we want we can go up and you can go to open source title specific this way that the, the uh, software doesn't have to go and search through the whole entire DVD you know exactly what you want because you've already looked at it so then you uh, just point it to the DVD and you go open so now it's it's asking you for the title so that's where you put in that 20 and you open the title so now if you if this is the whole movie on this particular DVD so what you're going to do is, is the title is going to come in here you can put in the chapters from there through there um, and then their destination is where you want this particular video to come in so you see title 20 is coming if you if you uh, and it's going from chapters 1 through 29 there's 29 chapters in here um, and, the, and here is where you want to save it to. So at the moment, I'm saving it to the desktop. So you you, you just net you know you can navigate here. Just go to desktop and click save or wherever you want to go to. The formats here, as you can see on the right hand side, there are a bunch of different uh, 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 preferences for this um, and profiles that you can set up. Generally, I just use normal. This is for like, pro, you know, using it in the church situation on, on uh, ProPresenter. Um, normal works fine, and it's going to do an MPEG-4 version. Um, you can adjust some of these if you want. There's certain subtitles and all this kind of thing that one can put in. But for today, we're just going to look at, at putting it in. Here, you would also change this title. Um, it's going to use the the DVD title every single time so if you're doing a couple different scenes um, that you need to pull off you need to make sure that you change this for each one 
So for instance, the one we looked at was chapter 4. So if I only want chapter 4, then I just go up to cha um, go to chapters here, and I go to 4, and, and I just want that to go through to 4. So in other words, that's just going to be 1. Um, and then what I normally do will be here, Faith Like Potatoes, um, you know, CH4. Um, and that's going to go there. Now if I'm going to just do one, that's fine. I can go hit the start up here. But if I want to do more, I add it to a queue. And if we just show the queue up here, this is where they are going to go. So this is chapter four, and I'm going to add that to it. So now I'm going to say, for argument's sake, we were going to do chapter 10 and chapter 10. You know, we're just doing those two chapters. There's things I need to pull out and edit on that. Um, I would then, you see how this did not change. So I need to go back and put that as changing. You can do whatever, um, whatever makes sense to you here. Um, and then I go to add to queue. So now we see that we've got two lined up here. And all I need to do is hit start and it will start encoding those two, how many ever we want. One can also do, um, say we were going to do chapters 20 through chapter 23. And so we'd go here, 20 through 23 and we go to add to queue and now all we do is we go over here and hit start and it'll start you'll hear the the uh, dvd spin up and it starts to encode those videos um pretty much that's it if you you can always stop it and so on but uh that's just your for your very basic um, ripping a DVD, either the whole DVD. So again, if you're going to do the whole DVD, you do the title, and then you just do chapters from the first one to the last one. Um, and so that you know, that's pretty much it. It's not very complicated, but it really helps. It works pretty well. You'll see these things will start if you twist down. It's telling you all the. Um, format and what it's you doing um, so any, uh, hopefully this will help and uh, you can uh, do successful DVD uh, ripping um, this is just standalone again standalone handbrake this is not the handbrake built into Pro Presenter 5 um, that you just navigate and do the same thing but it's you know if you want to do a little bit more you can do that with this one uh, otherwise We'll see you next time, and hopefully this helps.